I graduated in 78 and went to practice with a couple of guys in Miami. And I started doing criminal defense work. And I loved it. Uh, I fell in it like hand to glove. I just, I loved it. I loved being out there fighting for people's lives and not money. But as a result of that, um, I met a lot of interesting characters who were in the drug business. And if you get a couple of people off and you get a couple of defendants who like you, they bring you different problems when they buy houses and when they do all kinds of things. And then they, they come into you and say, look, I've got problems. I got to move money. I have too much money, which, you know, that becomes a problem. And so I, I started meeting people with that problem, how to get rid of the money. Uh, I had no notion how to money launder, nothing. And a young kid out of law school, somebody comes to him and says, look, I got $10 million I have to move. And you say, God, I can charge this guy 5%, 10%. That's a lot of money. And when you get more and more clients, it's a lot of money. How do I do it? So you call around. You call your buddies. Hey, listen, how do, you, how do I move money? Oh, I'll introduce you to a banker in Panama. I'll introduce you to a banker in Venezuela. I'll introduce you to a banker in one of the islands. And that's how I got started. You form these companies offshore, you open bank accounts, you have all the paperwork necessary, and you open these accounts. I was arrested on a 27 count indictment. I had uh, two life felonies and additional crimes, which would have been two lives plus 166 years. Uh, I was arrested in New York. I, I was practicing in New York, Florida, and uh, Nebraska. And I was arrested in New York. No bond was set. I was uh, shipped back to Florida. And at that point, we were able to get a, a sizable bond, $5 million. But I told my lawyer, I said, if, if we put up this money, we're going to get busted. So let's, let's take it down a little bit. So we took it down to about $3 million, And we were able to get a lot of people to chip in. And of course, I covered everything. So uh, at the end, I was able to make bond and I was let out. The prosecutor, I remember him, uh, kept saying, he's leaving, he is going to leave. And I kept saying, oh, absurd, absurd, absurd. I'm going, yes, I'm leaving, of course I'm leaving. I'm not gonna wait around. Uh, on April 15th, a memorable day, I skipped Miami and uh, I moved to Central America for a month or two. I shipped my family to Europe and I told them, I'll find you. Wherever you go, I'll find you. Charlie Intriago told me one time, look at your audience. There's a percentage of people in that audience who are in it to learn how money laundering is done because it's more sophisticated today. There are people coming out of law school with preset conditions that they're going to work to do this because there's so much money in it. I vanish. I, I would say there's more money laundering going on today, more sophisticated. Uh, like I said before, I'm working on a case to find out who's financing Hezbollah, who's financing Hamas, who's financing ISIS. And, and you discover things, you discover that Venezuela, uh, is, it, it's a fact of life. Venezuela has created an entity where 150 Hezbollah members were given Venezuelan IDs. So Mohammed Hatziz is now Jorge Torres. He's moving around the world. And I've talked to people, because within this network of speakers, you talk to people and you go, do you know anything about this? And they sit down and tell you, the largest mover of drugs right now is Hezbollah. They're generating so much funds, money, funds all over the world because they need to finance their projects. But just like they are, the price of drugs in the United States hasn't gone down considerably. It hasn't gone up. It's still coming at the same level. I talked to some friends of mine who work for ICE in El Paso, and they tell me there's more drugs coming in today as there ever before. There's more money going out. It's just, it's a fact of life. People are using it, people are selling it. So the money's there, but you don't hear the big bust anymore.